materials. Uh, raw materials, we've been selling raw materials for nearly 120 years, 100 and, 120 years in reality. And uh, we have been doing this for nearly 600 years. We cannot remain with the same formula uh, up to 21st century. 21st century has changed. And why it has changed is because uh, of uh, the uh, global economic uh, concept has also changed. So we believe that if you have to be prosperous, you really need to make sure that uh, the little you have, you have to add value to it. If you don't add value to it, you'll be losing the whole lot. And uh, recently, if you look at uh, the geopolitics going on, you find that uh, those countries which do not add value to their own uh, resources, they will diminish. And by diminishing, I mean they will be colonized by other countries who want those raw materials to go to their places. So this is why I believe that Zambia stands a very good chance of generating a lot of income for its own resources, which it actually belongs to the country. And uh, all of us, Zambians, those who are in the diaspora and those who live in Zambia can contribute to this success. Mm. And that's so what, what, what would you attribute to as potentially the major reason why we failed to create industries that could add value to some of these raw materials that we have beneath us? I think the, the main reason is that uh, we have been uh, uh, moving up and down. Uh, if you remember, uh, in, during the uh, uh, President Kenneth Kaunda's days, we had a lot of industries. And uh, from there, we were sidetracked by IMF and other countries which came to actually tell us that we need to privatize many of these and uh, of course we lost momentum from there. So this, uh, me, I don't believe in IMF. Um, I can say that uh, straight away because I believe that we generate our own funding rather than rushing to IMF to look for uh, excuses and uh, making uh, what you call so they can donate to us. What we need to do is we need to generate our own funding and value addition is the key.